Hi, uh, today we will cover uh, context object uh, design pattern and uh, this context object design pattern is belongs to JTU patterns. First we will see the explanation of uh, context object pattern. Um, this is the explanation. In layered architecture, if you want to propagate or share information across the different system layers, then we can use uh, context object uh, design pattern. <coughs> so usually what we will do is uh, uh, the JTU application will be split into multiple layers like application layer, uh, presentation layer, business layer, uh, data access layer. Uh, so application layer is uh, responsible for uh, getting information from the client and uh, populating the information and pass it to the business layer and the business layer is uh, responsible for uh, doing some business functionality and operations. <coughs> and uh, data access layer is responsible for uh, accessing the database, uh, saving the information, update the information in database, uh, getting some information from the database or delete some information from the database. Uh, so that is the responsibility of uh, data access layer. So different layer is responsibility for different functionalities. So in this uh, layered architecture, if you want to pass some common information across uh, different layers then we can uh, go for ob context object uh, pattern okay so first we will see how the context object pattern will work so client send uh, some information uh, to the application layer okay so once the request come to the application layer what application layer has to do is uh, it has to uh, find out the common information which uh, uh, the la application layer to should pass to the uh, business layer and data access layer. So suppose uh, like common information like transaction ID, uh, user information, uh, some security related information. So this all are some common information plus some other information will be there uh, based on the uh, our application. So that common information put it into the context object and uh, then pass it to the different layers like this. So now business layer has uh, context object. So it will use the context object for some business calculation. So once it, once it is uh, done, it will pass it to the <coughs> data access layer. Then data access layer will use uh, context object uh, values for uh, some uh, database operations. So once it is done, uh, the data access layer will pass the information to business layer and then business layer will uh, pass the information to application layer. So in this way we can use uh, context object. It's like uh, common information which you want to share to the multiple layers. Okay, So that common information put it into the context object, pass it to the business layer, then business layer will use the context object, then pass it to the data access layer, then data access layer will uh, use the context object. Uh, suppose business layer uh, need some information from DB, uh, then what uh, data access layer will do is it will hit the database, get some common information and put it in the context object and send it to the business layer and the business layer will send it to the application, la application layer. So in this way we can pass the common information across the multiple uh, uh, layers. Okay, So that is the main use of uh, context object uh, design pattern. And if you see the second explanation, context object encapsulate web server HTTP specific information in more general and portable form. So once HTTP request comes, uh, it will get all the information and it will convert to more general form which other layers can understand. Okay, So it will, put, it will, it will read the HTTP information and put it into the context object that other layers can understand. Uh, then uh, context object will be created for each and every request. Suppose 100 requests are coming to our application, then 100 uh, context object will be created because uh, <coughs> each request carries uh, different different information. Okay, so one request will carry uh, uh, John information, another request carries uh, Dave information. So we are, we want to capture uh, the values in different context objects. So for each request, different different uh, context object will be created. And uh, this is about uh, context object design pattern. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.